What's going on everybody? In this video, I wanna just quickly go over something new that AWS released in December of 2020. So they released the GP3 EBS volumes, and these have a few advantages over the standard GP2 volumes. With the GP2 volumes that everybody's basically been using right now is you to, to get the, the most input output operations, you have to increase your the size of your hard drive, which sometimes is just not that cost effective. So a lot of times you might, let's say you have a 100, 100 gigabyte hard drive that you want or EBS volume. Well, AWS gives you with the GP2, you get three input, three IOPS, three input output operations per one gigabyte that they give you. So if you have a 100 gigabyte uh, volume, you get 300 input output operations and with it you can get you can and they what they do is they burst they can burst up to allowing 3000 input out, output operations which that's good and all but you could e exhaust that what you have available so they, they give you credits af over time as you're not using the burstable credits so you could have a lot of things going on maybe a web server that's getting a lot of traffic or something and you use up your three three thousand IOPS and then later on in the day you don't have enough stored up enough credit stored up so you're only at 300 and then you get another high spike in usage and your site goes down or, or just the server just lags or something like that so, so that's not that's not good that's not that great but the only way with the gp2s the existing ones to increase that that IOPS is to increase the size of the volume so if you wanted to put like a one terabyte on that then you would get the 3000 IOPS by default, no matter what. But with the GP3, what you can do is by default, when you switch to these, you get 3000 by default, which is nice. So if you have a, a 100 gigabyte volume, now you get standard minimum 3000 IOPS. So that, that's awesome. So for the most part, if you have under a thousand or a one terabyte volume, switching to this, is going to be more performance. You can get more performance out of your volume doing this. So that's awesome. And the other thing with the GP3s now is it's up to 20% cheaper. So it's basically 20% cheaper going with this. So going over to the pricing here, right now with the GP2s, you're paying 10 cents a gigabyte per month. But with the GP3, you're, you're paying 8 cents. So right there, you're saving 2 cents per gigabyte a month. And depending on how much storage you're using, that could add up to a lot of money. If you needed more IOPS for the GP3 that you're getting, so let's say you have a 2,000 or a two terabyte. So by default, with the GP3, you would have 3,000 IOPS. Um, and if you needed more, you would you would be paying uh, a little bit more, or you'd just, you would be pay for that extra that you needed. But if you didn't need more than 3000, you're perfectly fine. Whereas before the GP2, you know, you would get, if you did two terabytes, you would get 6,000 IOPS at that point. Uh, but a lot of times you might not even need that. So it's up to you. But the, the one awesome thing about this too is to, to switch over your existing data or your existing volume is very simple. And what's, what's great about it is you can do it while your server is running and there is zero downtime with this which is awesome. So I'm going to take an existing instance that I have here. That's a GP2. And I'm just going to convert that over to a GP3 here. So you can kind of see that it's very simple and it doesn't take the server down. And if you've ever had to modify a volume, you might, you know, you know, sometimes it can take a while and sometimes it'd be quick. So this is only eight gigabytes that I have. You see a volume type of GP2 and IAPS of a hundred. So you're going to see this go to GP3 and and this go to 3000 after I'm done with this. Um, but let's, let's modify this. So let's change volume type from there to GP3. GP3, there we go. And now minimum is, is 3000. So let's click modify. And it says this might, you know, take some time for the performance changes to take effect. So when you if you have a large like volume that's say 500 gigabytes, this may take like five hours for this be to be fully converted over. 
but that's that's fine because your your site your volume doesn't go down you st can still use a server just like you've always used it just takes a little while but i have an eight gigabyte so this is going to take a, a just very short time maybe a few minutes if that but just understand like you're you can just do this while you're you're live and your server's running but so let's let's do that and then now that succeeded and let me refresh this and you'll see that it's going from so you can see it's in use here and it's modifying so this will take a little bit take a little while but it'll just increment up but my server is still running uh, so that's basically the the new gp3s that aws released it's kind of like a little christmas present they gave us um, or a little holiday gift and it's kind of nice because you basically are going to be saving 20 percent on your your volume cost and you get a little bit more performance out of it.